Hello and welcome to the City of Love. Although Paris is the ultimate romantic destination, there are plenty of other activities to enjoy in this wonderful city. To explore the unusual secrets and activities of Paris, let's start off with sailing a boat in a royal pond. This one is probably the most unusual thing to do in Paris, at least on this list. In the middle of the Luxembourg Garden lies a small pond. You can join the crowd at its banks and play with a wind-powered sailboat. The park also features formally laid out gardens and trees planted in patterns and lovely statues on pedestals. From the water to the rooftop views from Galleries Lafayette. If you're visiting Paris and enjoying all the lovely attractions of the city, make sure you also have some time to visit the iconic Galleries Lafayette. One of the most spectacular department stores in the city, the windows outside are stunning and the gorgeous interior stained glass center is a complete showstopper. The views from the roof to the opera house and the surrounding area are truly amazing. Late in the afternoon, they open a bar and it is definitely an activity for locals and visitors alike to enjoy the views and lifestyle of Paris. For an activity back on the water, go water skiing on the scene. For a thrilling experience, there's nothing like water skiing and similar water skimming sports. Close to Paris, several sailing clubs offer activities such as water skiing, mono skiing, wakeboarding, and tubing on the scene. For yet another thrilling activity, fly over Paris in a jet suit. Discover Paris as seen from above. Fly over the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, and many other iconic buildings. Strap on your jetpack equipped with a virtual reality headset and set off for an unbelievable 13 minutes. It really feels like you're flying over the Parisian rooftops. Next on our list is zip lining down a mega zip wire. The biggest zip wire in the Paris region is to be found at Sherwood Park, some 40 kilometers from Paris. Inspired by the world of Robin Hood, this theme park offers all kinds of activities related to tree climbing, such as jumping from the top of a medieval siege tower, climbing to the tops of trees, and in particular, hurtling down a 260 meter zip line in the forest. Here, excitement is guaranteed. For a top listed activity, check out a cool vintage car tour. There's not much to describe for this activity, you just have to experience it. Hop in a super stylish vintage car and let the driver cruise you around. The city looks so different, traffic is lighter, nightlife is busier, and iconic sights are illuminated. Next, get the chills at the Vampire Museum. When it comes to alternative things to do in Paris, it's hard to be a visit to the Vampire Museum. Located in a private house on the outskirts of Paris, the Museum of Vampires is arguably the most fascinating museum to visit in the city. This busy, eclectic, creepy museum is just a 15 minute metro ride from the city center. Now time to relax by taking a sunset cruise. This is one of the few things to do in Paris at night on this list. Instead of taking a cruise by day as usual, jump on it by sunset and experience the city of lights illuminated. The tour takes around one hour and goes around the city, giving you an unreal experience as well as unreal views. For a truly unique activity, discover a forgotten railroad. Okay, now this one is seriously some fun. It's also one of the unusual things to do in Paris. Paris is an old city and many of its old relics have become fun places to explore. After falling into disuse, the sections of the railroad were reopened to the public beginning in 2007. It's a fascinating and calm place to go for a walk and you won't even feel like you're in Paris anymore. Now head on up for a hot air balloon ride in Paris. Imagine seeing Paris and the surrounding landscape from the sky. This is one of those fun things to do here that will give you an adrenaline rush. For somewhere between 10 to 15 euros, you get to ride in the biggest hot air balloon in the world and take in some spectacular scenery as well. 
for our last activity, time to ice skate on the Eiffel Tower. Normally, the Eiffel Tower experience feels like a total tourist trap, but the opportunity to go ice skating on one of the world's most famous monuments is just too good to miss. Running from late November, early December to just before spring, the magical ice rink on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower will definitely be an unforgettable part of a holiday trip to Paris. Well, sunset cruises, forgotten railroads, and ice skating on the Eiffel Tower will bring us to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed all the adventures and let us know in the comments if you've been to any of these locations. See you next time in yet another adventure.